During a group creative arts therapy session focusing on a receptive visual art intervention, I was showing the teen psychiatric patients a variety of art books on painters from around the world, leaving room for the teens to discuss their thoughts, feelings, and criticisms about any of the paintings. The patients looked through the books and printouts with some interest. However, when they noticed a book on Jean-Michel Basquiat's paintings, they became, as one of the patients put it, alive. Hello, this is Enrico, licensed creative arts therapist, New York State. Bright colors, excitement, movement, freedom, self-expression. These were just a few of the many feelings that the teen group participants enthusiastically expressed while viewing Jean-Michel Basquiat's paintings and drawings. The patients reported that Basquiat's work represented freedom, not just freedom of expression, but freedom from their depression and helplessness. Showing Basquiat's work to this group of patients was the right clinical intervention to do at the right time because the majority of these particular teens were suffering from major depressive disorder, reporting feeling numb and hopeless. And Basquiat's work was, to quote a patient, the cure. The patients expressed excitement over the fact that Basquiat's work was raw, spontaneous, and unrestricted consisting of a rough handling of the materials, symbols, figures, words, and phrases, which, as the patients reported, must have meant a great deal to Basquiat personally. Consequently, the teens were inspired to create a large, spontaneous group drawing describing their first-hand experiences with depression. Here, on display, we find the teens' own encyclopedic range of visual and verbal reference depicting their everyday struggles. The teens inform me that creating a Basquiat-inspired mural together was a safe and healing way for them to tap into uncomfortable thoughts, emotions, and feeling states due to mixing them up within abstract figures, imagery, and ideas. Near the session's end, the patients reported an emotional release after creating the mural together. Without thinking, the teens began to celebrate their release by creating projective movements to Basquiat's paintings, later adding improvised dramas, imagining what it must have been like to be alive in New York City in the late 1970s and early 1980s with Jean-Michel Basquiat around town. To enhance their experience, I provided the soundtrack to their dance movements and drama improvisations by playing Super Rappin' by Grandmaster Flash and The Furious Five, released in 1979. Since I introduced Jean-Michel Basquiat's work some years back to the adolescent psychiatric patients spoken about in this video, later groups of psychiatric teens that I have worked with have responded with open arms to his drawings and paintings, embracing what a patient called the life and power in his work. And what inspires the teens the most is how the themes in Basquiat's paintings are an exploration of himself and how he responds to what he is painting. Patients are informed by Basquiat's aesthetic and inspired to explore their own life themes via drawings and paintings in a safe therapeutic environment. <laughs>